mob of angry students gathered today on the Oxford campus of the University of Mississippi to protest James Meredith's becoming the first Negro to enroll at the institution. A federal court order allowing Meredith to register has gone unheeded by Mississippi officials. It is unclear what steps Washington will take to resolve. As Governor Barnett said that uh, no Negro is going to be admitted to the university while he's governor. The court order is uh, pretty clear. I mean, Meredith has to be admitted to that campus. Well, listen, this Barnett, he's a mean son of a bitch. He doesn't care. He said he's going to block Meredith at the door. You don't think there's any wiggle room? I mean, I, Christ, I just want to get involved in a state matter. No, I know, but I, I don't think we have any choice but to deal with it now. It's Supreme Court. It's incredible what's been progressing down there. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. They've got the Klansmen on the radio telling people to grab the shotguns and show up at Old Miss. They're predicting a mob of 5,000. This, this could be a real bloodbath. This bastard doesn't give me a choice. I want Meredith escorted onto the campus by federal marshals. That's the problem. They don't have enough. I mean, they don't have the kind of firepower they need to handle that mob. It's Barnett down there, mm -hmm. right? All right, get him on the phone for me. I want to talk to him. Okay. Okay. Well, the president is extremely concerned about this escalating and getting out of hand. We don't want violence of any kind. Well, how many uh, demonstrators are on the campus now? Listen, um, how, how close are you to the governor? Can you uh, get the radio phone to him for me, please? Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to put Barnett on line two in it. One second. Hello, governor. Yeah, this is the uh, attorney general. I have the uh, president of the United States for you. Hello. Yes, sir. Mr. President. I understand uh, you're having some uh, problems down there. I want to do what, uh, whatever I can to uh, help you uh, get through them. I appreciate that, Mr. President. It's a combustible situation. I got my police and state troopers on the campus, but uh, these demonstrators are mighty stirred up. Now, you have a listen for yourself. Yes, that's all fine. Uh, can we can we calm that situation down? How do you suggest we proceed? Well, I believe we can diffuse the whole matter by keeping Meredith from coming on campus. Well, obviously the uh, court has uh, issued their uh, order here, Governor, and I'm bound by oath to carry it out. I'm bound by oath to uh, abide by the laws of my state. Which prohibit the mixing of races in public institutions. Well, we... Uh, we certainly don't want to have to send the National Guard down there, Governor. Send it in the Guard. Just throwing gasoline on the fire. Well, it's going to get a hell of a lot worse down there if you don't uh, get the situation under control and get Meredith enrolled. You understand that? If you don't, it's, it's not going to stop here. We're going to have your uh, state's federal funding withheld, and I'll cut off your... Uh... Poultry subsidies, and I'll have the NCAA pull you right out of uh, all future bowl games. You cannot do that. Oh, yes, I can. And if you think I've disrupted your way of life now, you haven't seen anything yet. I thought the uh, bowl games uh, was a nice touch. Tension is as high as the temperature here in Oxford, Mississippi, as James Meredith, accompanied by a contingent of federal marshals, has arrived on the State University campus. We will not be permitted to film the meeting of Meredith and Governor Barnett in the office of the registrar. State officials have cited concerns for Mr. Meredith's personal safety as their reason for the exclusion of our cameras. Yet the man at the center of this controversy seems surprisingly unaffected by the furor surrounding him. Mr. Meredith appears to be as calm and composed as the crowd is raucous and bellicose. Meredith, I gotta hand it to you. You're a mighty brave fella. Governor, I'm on the bet you're here to welcome me. <laughs> There are plenty of Negro schools out there. Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable with your own kind? Sir, I'm a citizen of Mississippi. I am of my own kind. Now, according to the school's charter, I've met all the entrance requirements. All but one. Governor, this is the Supreme Court order empowering us to see that Mr. Meredith's civil rights are not infringed. Well... Far be it from me to infringe his civil rights or disavow the nobility of the court. 
but according to Mr. Registrar, there's been a small clerical error, and the freshman class is all full up. So if I were you, I'd just turn around and go on home. Sir, the freshman class is not full, and we both know it. If you're not a student or an employee of this university, you're a trespasser. But he's fine otherwise? He wasn't uh, harmed in any way? No, no, I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I, I, we're uh, at a stalemate now. Barnett won't let him in. Uh, Meredith refuses to leave. Well, I'm not going to give Barnett a victory by pulling out Meredith. Meredith has to stay there. He's got to be guarded by marshals. Well, he's and, on the uh, campus now. On campus. So, uh, but I just think uh, we can't get by now without uh, having some sort of address by you. Just let the American people know that this is in the uh, hands of the president. I agree. I'm going to go on television tonight. Well, what's it going to say on TV? That law and order will be maintained and that Meredith will be admitted. Oh, General, now, that's going to kill me politically. Well, this really isn't about your political future. You either accept it and you become part of the process, or we'll have no choice but to send in the troops. I had hoped we could reason this out. This has gone well beyond reason because of your actions. However, the president is willing to save your face and praise your stewardship if you agree to the inevitable. <laughs> what can I say in the light of the overwhelming odds stacked against me? You can give me your word that Meredith will be admitted. <sighs> yes, sir. You have my word. Good. A series of courts, all the way to the Supreme Court, have repeatedly ordered Mr. James Meredith's admission to the University of Mississippi. He is now in residence on the campus. This is as it should be. For our nation, is founded on the principle that observance of the law is the eternal safeguard of liberty. The president is given a speech to the nation claiming victory over our sovereign rights. Now I'm giving my own speech to you good people and I'm exhorting you to rise up in indignation if President Kennedy tries to impose his will upon you. And defiance of the law is the surest road to tyranny. I will uphold the traditions of my state, and I will honor the history of this fine university. Americans are free, in short, to disagree with the law, but not to disobey it. I look around me, and I see all these federal marshals sent here by people up in Washington who think we're nothing but a bunch of violent, bloodthirsty we're in a government of laws and not of men. No man, however prominent or powerful. The president and his brother don't understand that we're peaceful, God-fearing people. And no mob, however unruly or boisterous, is entitled to defy a court of law. We will not retreat, even in the face of the strength of the entire federal government. We will stand up to tyranny in the name of justice. He riled up the crowd, he withdrew the state troopers, the marshals can't control it now. Where's Meredith? Well, he's safe for now, but I'm gonna prosecute that son of a bitch. The hell with that, Bobby? I mean, make him more of a martyr? For Christ's sake, he's not even the problem down there right now. We gotta get it under control. I want that rioting stop. Now, uh... 
Jackson in the National Guard. Over 200 people arrested, 160 wounded, and uh, two bystanders killed before the guard took control of the crowd. Now the uh, Southern Caucus is calling it an egregious exercise in federal power. That son of a bitch. Barnett brought this on himself when he pulled out those state troopers. Is Meredith still with the marshals? Yes, he is. Is he safe? I believe he's fine. Yes, Mr. Lincoln? Barnett. Put him through. Governor? Sir, I'm here on the campus. Meredith is signing his enrollment papers at this very moment. His first class is tomorrow morning. I believe it's colonial American history. Now I hope we can put this rather sordid affair behind us and restore an atmosphere of congeniality. You lied to me, Governor. People died last night because of that. I hope you can live with it. President, my only regret is the wrong people died. This issue is uh, far from over. Well, look at it this way, Jack. You got uh, Meredith enrolled. It's a good start.